Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here again, a little wobbly. Uh, November 2nd, 2017, it is a Thursday, I believe. Uh, 57 degrees in Northeast Ohio. Uh, not bad, it's supposed to get into the 60s today. Uh, we had a couple of cold days. Uh, usually we have at least one snowfall by now, but not this year. Uh, we had an exceptionally long summer. But anyway, today I'm going to the Goodwill. Uh, maybe the Salvation Army, we'll see. Uh, this is Goodwill in Ashtabula, Ohio. This is my home store. This is where I'm at most of the time when I'm at a Goodwill. Uh, I don't get a lot of video from this place, but I like it. Uh, I make a lot of money off this place. Uh, the prices are really good. Goodwill's been here so long that this old street is called Goodwill drive so it's been here a long time and they do good work and the people in here are amazing very helpful I've made friends with most of them uh, I've been coming here well since February when I started full-time on eBay so it is not quite open yet but that's okay I'll just park and wait it opens in about eight minutes you can see behind me the Goodwill. It's a good little store. Um, it's not the biggest Goodwill around, but it is not the smallest either. There's another one that I go to that's way smaller. But I find a lot of good things here. A uh, couple notes. Um, there's a rumor going around that eBay has stopped submitting things to Goodwill or to Goodwill. Yeah, eBay never submits things to Goodwill. Goodwill submits a lot of things to eBay though through people like me, uh, stopped submitting information to Google. And I did a little experiment on that, and it's just not the case. Uh, I searched about 10 random items from my store, and all 10 of them came up in a Google search, except not all of them came up in Google Shopping. And I think the reason for a lot of that is because Google can take up to 30 days to index something. And so if you just post something today, don't expect it to show up in Google today. So that's part of the reason. Looks like all the regulars are showing up. Uh, there are regulars. There's this one guy who's parked over here, and he's here twice a day uh, because they tend to bring things out twice a day. Uh, first in the morning, and then I think he said about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, which I'm usually not here at that time. I usually try to get here when they open. Uh, that's just me, but, uh, anyway, so I don't recognize this other guy, uh, but he looks like a reseller for sure. You get, you can just tell sometimes just the look on somebody's face when they're sitting in the parking lot, you can tell when they're a reseller. Now, most of the people who come here to resell are not looking for the same types of things I am. Some of them are, uh, but I, I'm diversified. I don't care. As long as it makes me money, I'll buy it. So uh, I don't do a lot of clothes anymore, just vintage, vintagey stuff, 90s and older. Uh, so I just take a quick look through the clothing section. There are some newer things that I'll buy, but generally I don't. Uh, so I'm more into toys, games, uh, anything new sealed, I'll take a look at. Uh, I love the new sealed Sony products that are older, like the CD players. Those things do super, super well. I've never found one here, but I have found them at the flea markets and the Habitat uh, for Humanity Restore store. The only problem with the Habitat store is it's all cash there. And I always forget to take cash with me, so I have to set everything aside and then run to the bank, get some money, and go back. But hey, whatever, you know. Someday I'll remember to turn my headlights off. Um, so anyway, the uh, Google thing I think is a myth. Uh, yeah, my sales are somewhat slow this week. I had a great week last week. This week, not so much. But I didn't list much of anything last week. I've been on a listing binge this week. I'm taking a little bit of time off today to go sourcing. But uh, I, I'm trying to hit 200 items by the end of this week, which is we'll say Saturday or Sunday. And then I just want to I want to keep getting the listing numbers up 
but I want to have quality products too. I don't want to just list to list because I don't think that does you any good. I, I realize people think that Google has some sort of algorithm where if you list every day, you're selling every day, well, people still have to want the item you're selling. You can't just throw anything, any old thing up there and expect to get sales. So, ah, the mean old lady. When I first met this woman, now I won't video her, but when I first met her, she was just mean and nasty, but she softened up a lot, and now I kind of get along with her really well, and if she's looking for something, and I hear her talking about it, I'll find it for her, or try to help her out, and a little bit of kindness goes a long way uh, when you're working with other resellers. I don't even know if she's a reseller. She is here every single day, but she doesn't seem to be buying things for resale. She seems to be buying things just because she, maybe she's a hoarder. Her car isn't a hoarder car, though. You ever see those hoarder cars where people are sitting them in them and there's more stuff in the car than empty space? Uh, yeah, hoarder car. But her car is nice and clean. Uh, it's an older car, but it's nice and clean. And she's a very, she wears higher end clothing, which she probably bought at the Goodwill, but a uh, very nice lady once you get to know her. At first, she's very rough, but anyway, that is that. I'm going to go stand by the door and uh, see what we can find today. All right, so I just got out of the Goodwill. Hold on, I gotta get something out of my pocket. Lots of noise. Uh, I wasn't gonna go to the Goodwill today because I'm a little low on fundage. A lot of outgo that didn't match the income. I spoke about that on my last video, but anyway, I figured, you know, I, I get gut feeling sometimes. So today, I got a gut feeling. And so I'm gonna show you some of the things I found. This is piano and keyboard method. It appears to be sealed never opened uh, if it has been it feels really light so I don't know what's in there but this goes for like $45 and I paid $289 so that's a good find it must be software Windows Mac software uh, one recently sold for $45 and there's only like a couple listed I don't know how old it is uh, it says Windows 10 so it's current so this little doll I liked it because it was old it's dolls of the world. It's probably not worth anything, but sometimes these little, you know, just cheapy things. It's definitely made in Japan, it looks like. Made in Hong Kong, so it's definitely older. 70s or 80s, probably. And this girl is from the Netherlands. So I'll look it up. It's probably not worth anything, but it's kind of neat. So I grabbed it. Uh, I've never seen one. I haven't looked this up. <coughs> it was $1.89. It's Waterford Crystal. Sorry about the Goodwill tape. They put it on everything. But it's not just Waterford Crystal. It's a Waterford Crystal razor. Uh, it was $1.89, so I thought I'd take a chance on it. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the box is just... There was probably more stuff in the box or more padding. But, you know, well, luckily... They didn't get this tape on too much, so it didn't ruin the box when I took it off. So the box is still pretty good, but a Waterford Crystal Razor. We'll see. It's probably not worth anything, but if it is, I paid a buck eighty-nine for it. So I don't know who this guy is, but he was cool. It's a milk carton plush. So we're gonna take. It's not that old. Uh, I've noticed that some of these, like, plushes from, like, um, medical uh, pr uh, drug companies and things like that do well. Uh, I've sold a couple of those and bought a, bought one for my wife because it was one she wanted. This is food, food Groupie is what it's called. So I'll have to look it up, but I thought it was cool, so I bought it. It was only $0.89. Cents. Plush is all $0.89 cents in there, no matter what it is. But none of that compares to... This three dollars and eighty nine cents, definitely vintage. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Tommy Hilfiger with the big spell out on the front. So hopefully that's money right there. That's money in the bank. The back is blank, but it has that very vintage nineties uh, streetwear look to it, and it's the right time of the year because it's a big heavy fleece. Uh, looks like there's no damage that I can find. Nothing in the pockets. I always check pockets when I'm in there. I go through the suits and check pockets. 
Now, I won't steal anything out of the pockets. I would never do that. But if I find a $100 bill in that suit jacket pocket, I'm going to buy the suit jacket. You know, it's just the way it is. So, it's never happened. So, I've never found money in any. Well, I found a $2 bill in a book once, but that was it. So, anyway, we're going to go hit up the Salvation Army, see if there's anything there. And if I find anything, I'll show you. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're on our way to... Oops, I'm in the wrong lane. We're on our way to Salvation Army. I'm going to blow this yellow light. I probably won't hit this one. So we're on our way to Salvation Army. This is Ashtabula, Ohio, Salvation Army. It's in the old downtown area, which is really old. <laughs> I mean, the turning lane, but this is the only lane to go straight, too. Uh, it's a shame you can see this restaurant here. It's still active, but I've never seen any cars there. Um, it's a shame that these old downtown areas are doing poorly. Luckily, there are still some businesses in the areas, uh, like the Salvation Army. There was an Army-Navy store out here, <clears throat> a rather big one, actually. I'm going to tilt the camera, so when we get over there, you'll see. A rather big Army-Navy store, but it's uh, defunct now. <clears throat> Lately, my throat has just been bad, bad. Uh, there is some office buildings and stuff down through here, but... Everything's moved. You know, you got a bunch of strip malls now and Walmart's over on the other side of town and that kind of thing. So these downtown areas suffer. Uh, the parking was never that great in these areas. But as we're driving down through here, there are businesses down here. There's a senior center to my left. Uh, flooring bed, bed, beds and furniture place and like a Head Start place. But this car service station is empty. There's a big old courthouse over here. I, it's hard to see on my left. And it's like got fenced area around it. The Army Navy store, which is now empty. All of these stores over here, some of them are occupied, but most of them are empty, as you can see. It's sad that these downtown areas have, uh, have deteriorated. These buildings at one time were very beautiful. And awesome. But we're pulling up on the Salvation Army now, and luckily it's still open. And we can go in there and find some deals and steals and whatever else you might want to find in here. I'm a big fan of this Salvation Army. I don't find a lot of good stuff in here, but when I do, I find some really good stuff. So we're going to go in and take a look and see what we can find. Hey folks, just got done at the Salvation Army. I actually recorded this video and I realized I never pushed record, so we're gonna record it again. Got three items, only three items in there, but they might be good, they might not be. The first is this album. It's Nobody's Diary. You can see that. By Yaz, State Farm, I don't know. It had some decent comps. It's from 1983, it's like dance techno music from the 80s so I don't know if this is a promo copy or not I'm pretty sure it came from a record uh, station or a radio station because of the it has the um, sticker that gives the run times of each and you know has a Y for yes so the further filing system and the cooler find was this this is a the wrestling album and it's WWF 1985. It has all, all the old wrestlers. Uh, Randy Savage. There's me and Gene Okerlin on there. Uh, Captain Lou Albano. And a bunch of others. Mouth of the South. You got Hulk Hogan on the back. He must not have been there the day of the picture. Uh, just a bunch of the big guys from those days. I guess Rick Springfield sings on here. Uh, it has uh, Hulk Hogan's theme song. And then you open it up and it has lots of artwork. So I uh, even see um, the Iron Sheik on there, which is pretty cool. Um, the album itself is pretty rough, scratched up. It probably won't play very good, but the cover was really nice. I have no idea what these go for, but I know a lot of the old time wrestling fans will love it. I think that's a young Vince McMahon, ain't it? Pretty sure. 
Wow. This is the early days of nationally televised professional wrestling. So these are the, all the pioneers, I guess, of the sport or the entertainment, as the case may be. I was never big into wrestling, but when I did watch it, this was when I watched it way back in those days. So most of these guys look pretty familiar to me. Not all of them, but most of them. So it was pretty cool. But I think possibly the best find in there may not be, could be, but I got a new co-pilot. His name is Santa Claus. He's about three foot tall. He's This is just a tag they put on to say it's a plush or whatever. He's like got a big wooden, it's wooden or cardboard in there. It might be plastic, but I don't know. But he's three feet tall. He's probably from the 50s. He's got the plastic face like the old masks, the Halloween masks. Um, flip his beard, you can see the old material. His hair comes down. I can't find a maker on it. I'll look around on it a little bit more when I get home. <clears throat> I don't know what he's worth, but he's pretty cool. So I may just keep him for myself if, he's, if I find out he's not worth anything. I'll ask some questions on some of the Facebook groups they may know. Uh, I'll measure him out, weigh him, and see what it would cost to ship him across the country. Uh, but, you know, this thing... This thing's been around for a long time, uh, and he's he's super, super cool. Uh, he does need a little cleaning, but nothing major. Uh, he's got that hard pack stuff in there. He's not like a soft plush. I don't know what that stuff is. It's almost like sawdust or whatever from back in the day. I mean, it's the old stuff. So my guess is 50s, maybe 60s on that guy. I don't know if they made that. I mean, I know they made the masks up into the 70s, but I don't know if they made for like this sort of thing. You can hear them. So anyway, that's cool. I thought it was the coolest find. I got it before anybody else seen it, and I had a lot of card envy in there. Uh, so other people were looking at it and wanting it, but I had got it. It was five bucks, uh, and the two albums were 49 cents a piece. So if they're not worth anything, that's okay too. I know the wrestling one is. I just wish the record itself was in better condition. If it's worth a lot, which it probably is, and I think in that condition I might be able to get 15 bucks out of it, but that's okay. Uh, I might just give it to a friend of mine who's a fan of wrestling, you know. So, But anyway, that's it for today, I think. Nothing else major going on. Uh, sales have been a little slow, so we got to find more things to sell. And that's what we did today. So thanks for watching. I'll get these videos uploaded when I get home. Uh, if you're watching, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, that's cool too. Uh, there's probably some sort of link somewhere. I don't know. Uh, and uh, you can thumbs it up or thumbs it down or like it and things like that as well. If you li if you wish. You don't have to. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Have a good day.